Champion, which is week 13. Double top. 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 Can he third the dart? Leg, Peter Hudson. Starting to sound like a Geordie there, Mace, <laughs> saying can he third dart? 25 matches this week. We're almost at knockout range. 72. And he misses tops for a double double, giving Christian, Christian Kiss the chance to win by two legs. Game and he doesn't shot. miss that double. And the match. That's Christian wonderful Kiss. on the outer ring from Christian. Four hits from five. And look at his average as well. It's just what he's been doing all week long. It's almost as if we know what he's going to do. 89.47 and 80% on the doubles. That's good enough for the first two points here in Group 1. When we come back, it will be the start of Group 2. Bar 40. And that was Martin's best performance of the week as well. 100.2. Yeah. Games on the second it's one all. You can see who they want to win. Very different dynamic for Martin here. 82. 196th match in two weeks. <laughs> Double top. Game That's big. Ryan Furnace. Now Dracht is now behind the eight ball. I do believe it was a bit of an epic drive up there. I know it very well. <laughs> oh, That's an epic shot. Oh, and needed. What a time to get his first max in the match. Yeah, but look what he's up against. Oh, Just as good. 65. And that was silent from the crowd. They are in shock. As soon as Finesse hits that max, they think he might have it in the bag. They can 100. barely be separated. Right but on remember that Finesse 40. missed four match darts. Dracht gets one. Gets a second. Has to stop. That was really mature. A noise from outside the arena. And this is the biggest dart of his night so far. It's double ten again. And King it's in again. Shot. He's getting his own back Schmertin. on the 20 segment. Ryan Finesse is not out of the running. If you are going to lose in this group stage, lose tight. But Martin Drack knows that when he comes back in game six against Scott Baker, if he wins that one, he will win the group. When we come back, we'll be going back to group one. We'll see Colin Osborne for the very first time tonight. Two darts at a double. That's lucky. Because yes. if he'd got a small number, it would have been very tricky. Now he's got the bullseye. Game Talk the second about leg. taking Peter the most Hudson. of your fortune, because let's put it this way. If he gets a small three or a small seven, missing that 25 in ball, leg Peter to it makes Rofer. things so much more difficult. Peter. But two. 20. And Osborne may get another. Colin, you require 68. Double 20. A double four. We've seen some bullets already dodged tonight. Are we going to see another? That's a missed single because he wanted the eight. 36. He wanted the eight for tops. Peter, you require 20. You can cut the tension with a butter knife. Is Hudson still alive with this last dart? He is not no somehow. Score. If this double six goes in, Hudson is out. Colin, you require 32. He will be wondering how that third dart did not go into the 20 segment. I'm still wondering it myself. That leaves 25. Game. Shot. I was just about to and lose match, count Colin of the amount of match darts that we've had for these two players, but ultimately the story of that game means Peter Hudson is out of this finals night in week four. There you can see the averages. In the end, they didn't mean a great deal. It was all about the scrap at the end, and Osborne is through with a game to spare, and his game with Christian Kist in game five will be a shootout to see who wins that group. We'll be back with some more action in Group 2 after this.
the Final week corner has 60. come from Martin Drack that won 6 4. Yeah, that 1 4 4 for a game shot the third Scotty line. Baker yeah, came in a match where there was also a 1 4 5 as Ryan Furness gets his first chalk Four on the board, a 17 dart Crawford. hold. In the first 12 darts, first chance goes to Ryan, and it's a shot at tops. Game. He's still alive. <laughs> To their delight, Scott Baker, Ryan Furness, and Martin Dracht may have to play each other in a nine-dart shootout at the end of game six. We'll come back to that at the apt time. But that 120 checkout from Ryan Furness for 15 darts in the last leg, it keeps him alive. And all he can do now is watch. Baker's got more work to do when he plays Dracht in game six in a couple of games' time. When we come back, it's the eliminator for the winner of Group 1. It's either Osborne or Kist. A little bit of a break, but I think you were onto something for someone like Kist who can then... Oh. Well, that's different. That How... flight needs replaced. How has he done that? Did it go through the 66. fight and then have a bounce out? It landed a little bit too quick. Wait. From winning this one, 4-2, in convincing fashion. 102. You can't Tradition approach much better 40. than that if you don't hit the 142. Game. But let's face Shot. it, you just and can't leave Christian, Christian Kist on tops. He's done it again. Four out of five on the doubles, and he's 80%, not just for that game, for the night. And he will go into the first semi-final as the winner of Group 1, Group A winner. He is looking good tonight. Osborne will await the runner-up in the next group. In fact, no, he'll await the winner of the next group. But as to who that is, you'll have to stay with us because it's a bit of a minefield. Got it done this way. Well. Oh, that's a real happy accident, isn't it? Maybe the tide is turning for Martin Dracht because he shouldn't have been anywhere near that treble six. Game shot on the first leg. Well, that's an 11 daughter and the best leg of the night. But I can guarantee you that you have not seen that before. But not thrown perfectly. No, oh, they were edgy. Trouble 19. Ball. Game wow. Shot on the fourth leg. Biggest Scott finish Baker. of the week. What a time to find it. And against the player who had the biggest finish of the week. Bacon. Well, he needs a trouble in one of his two darts. Ooh, that's an interesting way to go. Tops. Game He's still there. The Fighting his heart out. He gets two. At 32. Game he only needs the one. Martin it's 3-3. Three, three, and we have the scenario that we sometimes dream about here at the Motor Super Series. Of the first goal. Another one of those. Leaves double 18. Game. And he's through. Sure. He and looks at Scott Baker. We will not have a nine dart shootout. On top of that, Martin Dracht wins the group. And how has he done it? 94.49 the average, but four out of four on the doubles. He's had a better average this week, but he hasn't had a better performance. Scott Baker, the favorite for a lot of people, has been eliminated by losing two group games here on Saturday night. But Martin Dracht will play in the second semi-final and he will now have the bit between his teeth. Let's all take a breath and when we come back, we'll have the build-up to the knockout stages here in week four. Welcome back to the Motors Super Series where we are joined by probably the most relieved man in the room in Ryan Finesse. Ryan, what on earth were you going through those last oh, couple of minutes? It wasn't very fun being backstage and watching that, but... We got the job done, just and just about, and yeah, I'm happy to be in the semi-final with Christian and let's have a good game sort of thing. So. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that mic off you. Uh, so that first, so when you get to 3-3 three, three in that 1-4-4, four, four, what's going through your mind when Martin's going for that? I mean, I've done the nine-dart shootout before. I was like, okay, just brace myself for a nine-dart shootout, worst case scenario, but I was ready for it. But uh, Martin took out the big shot and 
yeah, happy days on there. So, yeah, let's go for the semi-final. I'm ready. Into the semi-finals. This time you don't actually have to worry about the nine dart no, shootout no, no, no. because you've been involved in one of these before. Were you thinking, <laughs> even if it did go there, were you thinking, I've been there before, yeah. so I know what it's about? 100%, yeah. I've done it before. I felt out of the three of us, none of them boys would have done it before. So I was happy that if it did go there, I felt like I'd have been a slight favourite out of us three. So, yeah, no, it's good. I'm happy. You got a bit of home support with you this evening. The Ryan Finesse massive uh, in the house this evening. How big have they been for you this evening? How oh, nice brilliant. is it to have them here it's as well? It's amazing. I love the effort that's gone through to come and everyone come down here and watch me. So, no, I appreciate it all and hopefully I can get the W, get the win. And yeah, let's go. And finally, if you were to be successful tonight, how big would this be for you in your, in your career? It would be massive. You know, I've. Um, you know, the last sort of six months I've been on and off with darts and, you know, every now and then I get back into it and then I go back off of it. But, you know, the last couple of weeks I've hit it hard for this. And, yeah, I mean, it would put all the hard work, you know, it'd make it all worthwhile. So, yeah, no, absolutely. I'm ready for it, Henry. Well, Ryan, I know you've got a semi-final to play in a few minutes, so I won't keep you any longer. Thank Good you. luck against Thank Christian. This is bliss in darts. Yep. You don't want to know. And knowing Christian, he's probably forgotten already. Game because let's face it, he Christian wants to get better. Games. He's not forgotten how to hit tops. And when he starts a match like this, look out. 82. A rare miss. Only the third of the night. <laughs> Ryan, you require 60. That sounds ridiculous. But it's true. Because it is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Double top. What a lie. Game shot. Great shot. Ryan and there's the Christmas. reaction from his travelling Wilburys. And there's the reaction from his travelling Wilburys for the next game. Yes. 17 for double 18. Gets it. Game from the Listen to that. He's clinging on with brilliance. The doubling in this game has been superb. Oh, to leave. 49. A two dart finish. He's got tops. Yeah! It's not there. We they had to thought wait. it was. They we were, thought it was. They were all looking at the monitors, and it's just under the wire. That's in, in the wire. What a dart that is! After the, after the crowd cheering thinking it was in and having to step back in a huge pressure moment or kissed 60 percent on the doubles bullseye for kissed Game wow shot. and the match that's world kiss. championship quality from the lake state champion of 11 years ago his doubling tonight has been extraordinary and it needed to be against the ryan finesse you want to be involved in the knockout games at the end of the week, that's for sure. Colin's been here many times. Well, I have to just quickly mention our good pal, Jeff Smith, who won the... He won the North American Championship. He did. For the second time. Yep. Today's a good day. So congratulations from all of us here. Wow. Well, as soon as you mention Jeff Smith. On your require of 40. Well, you, you get bogged down in one of these type of games. It's like you're in it's like you're in quicksand. Shot the fifth he gets it done and he more. gets the breaker throw that he needed to win the match. Now, can he convert the lead into a win? He needs a, a leg of similar ilk, you feel. Say to yourself, give me one match dart. He's going to get one match dart. Going to be at the ball. Didn't even think about the treble. And Game nails the shot. ball. And Colin Osborne, Osborne produces a little bit of magic from absolutely nowhere to take his place in the final and make a little bit of history on the way. An average of 86.18 for Colin, 81.9 for Martin Dracht. But it was a match all about Miss Double. So we know our final. Christian Kist will be facing Colin Osborne. Oh, so that was how that was done. Why? Uh, so Kevin painted the 155 now. now look at his levels coming in. You've mentioned his average for the night's 93. His average on the tour is about five points under that. Hello. 
game shot of the first Osborne. leg, Colin Osborne. Starts immaculately. For 80. Double 10. And how you beat Kist game is by doing that and not Colin giving Osborne. him the opportunity at the doubles. That looked Christian, you're so inviting for him. He had a little look down at the ball, but, well, we've seen everything else. 145. Oh, with six. Double top for Kist. Game Back to six normal Christian on the doubles. Kist. And after 103 games this week, we now go down to the exclamation point Colin leg. To... If he wins this leg... He will become only the second player to have made two Champions Weeks. Christian, you're going 170. And the only player to win five Super Series titles. Oh, my goodness. Behave. 140. That was even closer than the previous one. We've talked about Colin, dodging bullets the last couple of days. Now looks at that double. And becomes Game. a history-making, record-breaking, Super Series, week Super Series fifth-time weekly champion. And the second person ever to make two Champions Weeks. He upsets the... Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Well, Colin, there seems to be a symmetry with you and Series 4. Because in Series 2, you won Series 4. In Series 4, you've won Week 4. You've done it again. Well done. What can I say? It's, you know, it's like I spoke to you the day when I come in Thursday. You know, I've come down here, I compete, I, I try and play my best darts. You know, and hopefully it's good enough. And tonight it was. What were you thinking when Christian got that ball's eye for the 170? It's. I think you missed early doors as well, and I, I've. I, I, I threw well in the final, I scored well, and I, I think if I'd have got beat, I, I, I probably felt unjustified. But then once I'd set it up and I come back and I'd seen the two trebles, and yeah, but. Doubles for door, trolls for sure, innit? Most certainly, and it felt like something about you this week. Whenever it came to the crucial moments, you managed to find something. I think, yeah, it's like when I spoke to you and Paul, was it Thursday? Mm -hmm. It's experience, you know, and like you're saying, it, it, you have just all the time, it's, I've worked on a lot of things. It's just about trying to be cool and calm in situations, you know, and obviously that's what's happened these last few days. We've made a little bit of Super Series history here tonight. By playing in the final, you play in your 426th game in this competition. I'm not that old, am I? <laughs> <laughs> that is a record, an outright record. You yeah. have beaten Robert Owen's previous tally by one tonight. How proud are you of that, having the most games of anyone in this competition? It's, I'm very proud of it, you know, and like I spoke to you earlier, you know, this, it, it, it's, it's a great venue, it's great, obviously, what the Super Series does, you know, and the backlog of that is with the ADC and everything, you know, it, it's just, it's somewhere for us, obviously, the lads who are not on the Pro Tour were to come and play darts at the, the best possible standard and, and the best place to play. And now you join a very exclusive club of just a couple of players to make it through to Champions Week twice here in this Super Series format. How much are you looking forward to that now, come August? Oh. So much so, you know, like you say, it's, it's like everything here, you know, I, I, wherever I go and play, I, I go to turn up and play to win, you know, and as it's happened over, excuse me, over the last 18, 24 months, I seem to come down here, or obviously the Morris of uh, Southampton and produce my best stuff, which is, yeah, it's, and that's where you need to produce on the stage, and luckily for me, that's where it comes out. Well, this cup here, Colin, is now yours to lift. I'll take that microphone off of you and I'll let you have the opportunity now to lift that trophy and have your moment. Ladies and gentlemen, Colin Osborne. Yeah!